Hello, hello, my name is Mashanots and welcome to another Not With Me video. If this is your first time joining, then be warned that this isn't a tutorial. The pattern is linked in the description in case you want to make it as well, but in this video I won't be explaining how to do it, I am simply making it. And I filmed the entire process from start to finish and I sped it up so we can watch this like really satisfying time lapse of this entire thing getting created. I, I just, I love filming time lapses and I feel like sharing them with you guys. And I usually use these as like little life updates and chatting, you know, whatever I feel like chatting with you guys about. So uh, here we are. It is finally spring, which I am so, so excited about. Spring is probably my favorite season of the year. I, I just, you know, everything is blooming. Everything is beautiful. The sun is out. You can finally see sunsets that are at like 4 p.m. We get like 4 p.m. sunsets in London. It's it's actually really sad in uh, winter time. So it's really exciting. Uh, the time has also changed now. So we, we even see the sun later at night. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And actually this time, uh, this time around, I was, I usually have allergies and I still do. Um, I have allergies around springtime. I actually never used to get them. Apparently you can develop allergies from stress and I developed allergies like hay fever, like spring seasonal allergies for the first time when I was 18. Uh, I was doing my high school exams like I was trying to get into university around like April and May which is obviously when when things are blooming and I developed I was the most stressed I have ever been in my entire life I'm now like nearly 25 it's actually my birthday in like a few days uh, but I'm now nearly 25 and that has been the most stressed I've ever been in my entire life and I've been stressed <laughs> so you apparently yeah you can uh, develop allergies from stress, which I didn't even know was a thing because I didn't have any seasonal allergies for the first 18 years of my life. And then since then, every single spring. But this year, I actually was able to catch it relatively early on. I started noticing, um, I don't I don't clock it very easily because you, you start getting allergies quite quickly uh, before you actually visibly see anything blooming. So I, it's, I'm still in my mind, it's still winter. I think I started, having these allergies in like early February. It's still very much winter. It's cold, the trees are bare, there's nothing happening. But but my my body tells me that spring has sprung <laughs> because my eyes are watering, I am sneezing, I can't breathe. It's actually like genuinely really bad. And because I was able to catch it this year really, really quickly and I started taking pills every single day, it's genuinely not been as bad. And usually pills don't help me, um, at least not as much but this year I've, I've been all right. Like I can actually breathe and I can actually do things. <laughs> I've actually, you know, I've been pre-filming. I've been talking about this for a while. I've been pre-filming. I filmed a lot um, in January and February. In fact, I think I, I made this bracelet in February as well. So I, I was pre-filming quite a bit and I was thinking as I was pre-filming that like, oh, I need to film with my face as much as I can because I won't be able to film my face for like, April, <laughs> March, April, potentially even May, because my allergies genuinely get so bad that my eyes don't open properly and they are swollen. It's and, and like crusty. It's disgusting. I'm sorry if this is too TMI, but but it's it's genuinely gross. So like as I was filming, I was thinking consciously about the fact that like I, anything I need to film with my face. I need to pre-film because I won't be able to, I won't be able to do it, but it's not been that bad this year. It's uh, it's actually been all right. Anyway, I don't even remember why I started talking about that, but spring is, I'm actually really excited for spring. And this year has been um, sort of the, the best spring I've had in a really long time. Do you know what? Because um, I, I don't remember, maybe I've talked about this as well in another video, but this thought just keeps coming up for me is because my family um, is quite spread out. I have quite a bit of family in like different corners of the earth. I live in London. I've got family in America with uh, my cousins, my aunt, my uncle, uh, my grandparents. They all live in America and Florida. I visit them sometimes. I'm actually going again, uh, hopefully at some point this year. I already have tickets booked. So I'm pretty pretty certain that I'm going, but you know, plans can change. Um, I've got my sister who lives in the Czech Republic. Um, I've got uh, some other family who live in Russia. Uh, these three sort of bits of family I visit relatively regularly. I try to visit, you know, at least once a year each. Um, and I also have some family living in uh, Georgia, 
uh, not the state, the country. Um, and I also have some family living in Latvia, although that family I have seen like once in my life, so I don't actually go there very frequently. Um, but yeah, what was the point of me saying this? The point was, because I have all this family around the globe, the way that my allergies work, one year was incredibly inconvenient. Also, I messed up the filming angle here and then I didn't realize for the longest time, so apologies for that. There we go, fixed it. <laughs> uh, one time I horribly, horribly scheduled everything. And so spring kind of starts the earliest in London. And so one year it happened that I was in London for a while and I was suffering from horrible, horrible allergies. And then just as it started sort of finishing off and dying off and I, I started to feel mostly fine, I went to the Czech Republic where spring starts slightly later than here and it became horrible again. <laughs> I once again experienced allergies in full swing even though in London if I had stayed there I would have already sort of been fine. And just as I had come back from the Czech Republic, I then went to visit my family in Russia, where spring starts even later. So I think that year I had seasonal allergies just nonstop for like four or five months. It was horrific. <laughs> it was genuinely, genuinely horrible. And um, yeah, ever since then, I am very, very conscious about how I travel in spring. Uh, I'm actually going on some travels now. I'm pre-recording this. I'm actually recording this like really close to to when you're going to be seeing it. These voiceovers, at least. I, as I said, I made this bracelet, I think, in February. Um, but I'm going to be in Amsterdam when you're watching this, and I'm about to be going on this trip as I'm recording it. And I am so excited. I'm going on a little bit of a travel. I'm actually going, um, I'm going to Russia to visit family. I'm actually going to stay there for... Oof, I haven't got the ticket back yet, but I'm planning on staying there for about two months-ish. Um, that, that being, my husband lives there at the moment and he's unable to leave the country, which is why I'm going to stay there for so long. Um, pretty much the only reason why I'm going to stay there for so long, but that's a very long story. But yeah, I'm gonna be there for a few months and it's just such a difficult journey currently, like trying to get into the country because obviously nothing is flying into Russia for reasons. Um, and so I have to sort of go by bus and go through other countries. Um, it's, it's a whole process and it's gonna take at least like two full days to, to get in there. And so to make the trip a little bit more fun for myself, I decided to make a stop in Amsterdam first. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that because it's honestly kind of stupid, but we've got the sort of long holiday coming up uh, with Easter, uh, or I guess you're in the holiday if you're watching this on release. Um, we've got like a lot of, you know, holiday days from work, which I just otherwise wouldn't be, like if I don't use them for a trip, I'm just gonna have like, holiday days that I'm just gonna be spending at home. So if I have holiday days, I would rather use them on a trip, um, if that makes sense. So I decided, yeah, you know what? It, it's gonna take me like two days to get into Russia. Uh, why don't I use the rest of those holiday days? Plus I get one extra holiday day for my birthday from work, which is fantastic. Uh, so I had like, what, five-ish days, I think, just, just there of holiday, <laughs> of non-working days. So I decided, yeah, I'm gonna go take the train to Amsterdam. Thankfully, it's actually really easy to do from London. I can just literally take the train um, and I don't even have to pay for luggage or anything like you do with planes. So it's very convenient. I'm going with a friend of mine uh, and it should be a fun time. I'm, I've never been to Amsterdam before and, um, and we're gonna be there for two full days and we're gonna celebrate my 25th. So it should be a really fun time. I'm trying to sort of like plan out uh, what I actually wanna do there and what things I wanna see. So uh, that's kind of like currently what I am thinking about. And then uh, I'm taking a, so I'm taking a train to Amsterdam and then I'm taking a plane to Tallinn, Estonia. And uh, I'm gonna be there for another day. So I need to figure out what I wanna do there. I mean, I say a day, it's gonna be like 12 hours. Um, because everything, I'm gonna get no sleep. All of my travel days, I have to leave at like 5 a.m. in the morning, it's horrible. And I specifically tried to avoid that. I specifically tried to plan around not doing that, but somehow, somehow I still ended up with, with that. So that's great. But um, I need to figure out what I'm doing there. And then I'm taking the bus to St. Petersburg which last time I went, uh, the bus was like 10 hours. It's not supposed to be 10 hours. We just spent like four hours on the border, which is great. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm really hoping we don't spend four hours on the border this time. <laughs> I say that and watch me spend five or something. I'm hoping to spend less than four hours on the border because that is not fun. 
So yeah, and then I'm gonna take the train down to Moscow and I'm also taking a sleeper train because I booked train tickets too late. It technically only should be like four hours from St. Petersburg to Moscow uh, by train, but because I was late and I had to book a sleeper train, I'm gonna be there for nine and a half. I'm sleeping, hopefully, but still not fun. <laughs> like, just, uh, I hate having ADHD sometimes. I forget things. I had booked everything else except for the train. <sighs> And yeah, anyway, <laughs> just just fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited uh, for my travels. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cool things. Hopefully, you know, it's not too bad because two days of travel is just not fun in general. But, but you might not even notice that I'm traveling because I have a lot of content pre-filmed. I am still hoping to film while I'm there, but anything that I do film uh, will be extra stuff. You know, like I've already filmed pretty much all of the base videos that are going out. So that's really exciting. Anyway, I haven't spoken about this bracelet in this entire video. I do apologize. <laughs> I haven't actually recorded in so, so long because as I said, I've been pre-filming. So it turns out I had a lot to talk about, but this bracelet, I actually genuinely had a lot of fun with. I love the colors on this one. I have not been having so much luck with colors on some of the other bracelets that I've been doing. I haven't been, super happy with the colors <laughs> on a lot of these, but this one, I've been really, really happy with the colors. And this pattern was also on my to-do list. I think when I started making videos on this channel again, um, if you know the history of the channel, I kind of started in Russian and I forgot about it for a few years and then I started in English again. When I started making videos on the channel again in English, this that is when I added this pattern to my to-do list. And since then, <laughs> I've been meaning to make it every single spring because this feels like a very spring bracelet to make. Like I want to make it in the season and I've been trying to make it every single spring since then and I just haven't for whatever reason. So I finally, finally did. And this is how the bracelet turned out. It is beautiful. It is such a beautiful pattern. I absolutely love it. It is in the description if you guys want to make it as well. And if you don't know how to make alpha bracelets, I also have a tutorial on that. It's called the flat alpha technique. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Happy birthday to me, because I'm pretty sure this is coming out on my birthday or like the day after, I'm not quite sure. So happy 25th to me. <laughs> and um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Special thank you to my patrons and especially my top supporters. It is with your support that I'm able to create the videos that I do on this channel. And if you also want to become a patron and support the work that I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. My book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is also out and it's available for purchase anywhere you typically buy books worldwide. There is also a direct link in the description if you want it there. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.